So if you've seen my last video, you'll know that I went travelling and took a load of Lomography X-Pro film with me. I did a video on that. Um, but I also took this with me, which is a Russian Lubitel 166B. It's the, it's the original. Um, it's not one of Lomography's new recreations. So it is uh, the actual thing from Made in Russia. And the film I used was this um, Ilford HP5 Plus. ISO 400 um, and I got I managed to get 10 out of 12 photos developed um, that was because one of them the first one I completely scrolled over because I didn't realize it I couldn't quite read it properly in the light or something and I didn't realize it read one and I scrolled over it until I got to two and I realized damn I've scrolled over a shot and one of them I think I just didn't expose properly. But that's alright, 10 out of 12 is not bad. <laughs> Photos, do I like them? You're going to see them in the kind of slideshow, there's only 10 of them um, in just a second, but just to give my opinion and to explain a bit about them. Um, I didn't like them that much because there's a lot of light leakage actually in this one. I think there's some of the light seals um, need replacing. but. I did get a couple of funky ones which I quite like. Um, I wouldn't call them my best photography but I do quite like them and the film worked really well. There's not enough range in the settings, it only goes up to um, 250th of a second and when there's really really strong sunlight sometimes that's not enough, um, even with f22. Um, the shutter seems to be working fine so I don't know, I think there's just light leakage, I think there's some, some bits and pieces missing from it. But I was really happy with it. I probably wouldn't use it again, <laughs> but the film I would use again, that worked really well. Um, so I'm going to quit my rambling and let you just see the photos. <laughs> 